Hello and welcome to Fun Bikes TV. My name's James and today we're going to assemble a 09 scooter. To start off with, we're going to make sure that everything is tight on the front end of the scooter. Using a 17 spanner and socket, make sure that your front axle is tight. Once you have done this, move on to your brake disc. Using a four Allen key, check each brake disc bolt is tight on the scooter. Then using a five Allen key, tighten your two brake caliper mounting bolts. Tighten your cable. We will adjust the front brake once we've raised the actual handlebars themselves to make sure it's all centered and square and running freely. On the opposite side of the brake disc, there are three Allen key bolts that are again for a five Allen key that hold the split rim together. Make sure that these are tight. We are now ready to move on to the next phase of checking the vehicle. Using a four, two four Allen keys, make sure the bolts through the frame on both sides are tight. And then check that the grub screws here and here are tight on the vehicle. Using a three Allen key. We're now ready to move backwards onto the scooter, checking the rest of the uh, stem bolts. Using two four Allen keys, make sure the bolts holding the bottom section of your stem are tight. Check that your two bolts just here are tight on it. Again, using the four Allen key on both sides. Using two five Allen keys, check that the upper stem bolts here are tight. We're now ready to move on to the next phase of checking the vehicle over. We're now gonna check the side stand is tight on the bike using a four Allen key. Check that both bolts are tight and secure. We're now going to check that our rear wheel assembly is tight. Starting off with a 17 spanner and socket, check that your rear axle is tight on the vehicle. Check your brake caliper mounting bolt is tight and secure. Using a 10 spanner. And the four Allen key just here. And then work your way around the rear wheel just checking all your bolts are tight, again using a four Allen key. Once you've tightened all these, we're gonna move on to the rear suspension and mounting bracket. Okay, starting off with a five Allen key, either an L-shaped or ball end Allen key. Tighten the mounting points at the top and the bottom for the rear frame. Once you've done that, using a four Allen key, ensure that your rear shock absorbers are tight on the scooter. Checking both sides at the rear, and then the mounting points underneath the scooter, using a five Allen key. On, on the one side and a four Allen key on the other. As you can see, we've turned the scooter on the side to allow us access to the mounting points on the front and the rear for the 5mm Allen keys. There are four at the rear and four at the front that need tightening. Once you've tightened the rear ones, move on to the front of the vehicle. Tighten the four bolts on the bottom at the front. We're now ready to level off the handlebars and set the lever positions. Carefully cut through the tape holding the protective cover and lift your handlebars up so that it slots into position. Rotate your computer and brake levers round. Then using a 5mm Allen key, level off your levers to the desired angle. We recommend you have them angled approximately 30 degrees down for comfort when you are riding the scooter. Once you're happy with the position, tighten up your brake levers. Once you have done one side, look across the opposite side, levelling the levers, and then tighten it up. Once 
We now have to set the position of our computer. This is obviously down to personal preference, but it's obviously easier to have the throttle unit nearer to the brake lever. Using a three Allen key, tighten your computer into the desired and throttle unit into the desired position. Don't fully tighten down one bolt, do some of one bolt and then move on to the other one as you work your way through them. Once you've done this, twist your red anodized adjusters just here into position. These hold the handlebars secure. You will then need to make sure that the bolts here, using a four Allen key on both sides, are tight on the front and the rear. You will also need to tighten up your quick release on the scooter. Once you have the handlebars at the desired level. We now just need to make sure our brakes, front brake is set for the optimum braking position. We're now going to set the front brake caliper on the bike using a 5mm Allen key. Start off with, make sure your, bolt, your, your bolts just here, loosen them off. Just a fraction. This allows you to adjust the angle of the caliper and also move the caliper from side to side. Spin the wheel over to find the position that gives you the least amount of drag on the brake disc. A very small adjustment on one of these calipers makes a big difference to the um, performance of the brake caliper. Once you're happy that there's no drag on the brake disc, tighten your caliper bolts up. and check that your cable is tight. If you then apply your front brake to check that you are happy that the brake is locking off correctly and stopping the scooter. On behalf of all the staff at Fun Bikes, thank you for purchasing your 09 scooter from us. Let the fun begin.